Once secured in, in the sheath, this mechanism and the two straps means you cannot lose it. What I found that basically with these two straps loose, don't blame me if you ever lose your blade, basically with these two straps loose and then carried while well, locked in place in the sheath, it, it allows for rapid uh, release by the thumb press. What I like about this handle over the buck, you see this phenolic handle. Here. What I like about this handle, I specifically chose a non-wooden handle because uh, basically depending on the application, for example, say, uh, you, well, you're not really gonna, this is really not an ideal game dressing. Uh, this is not an ideal game dressing blade, but basically uh, the handle itself, the wood can easily get stained. The wood can easily get stained. Uh, and th this is easy. This handle here is sec not only secure, you see these grooves, it's highly secure. It's easier to clean and you have less, you have, you have less, you, be careful with the tantal. You have less reflection uh, as opposed to, you see, you have less reflection here, but you're going to see a lot more reflection here. So let, let's, let us show you that. Actually, this is better demonstrated outdoors in the natural moonlight. But basically what I want to demonstrate here is compared to the K bar, compared to the K bar, as opposed to this, this is better demonstrated in the field at night, but compared to the K bar above and the buck, you see there's, there's much, you're getting much more reflection on that buck. You're getting a whole lot more reflection as opposed to the K bar. What we forgot to mention is that the advantage of this K dex up above means that it's not going to spoil in humid climate, humid environments as opposed to leather, which has issues over time in certain conditions. And with the K-Bar above, you're looking at a 1095 Crow Van type of steel. With this model of the Buck 119 Special, you're looking at a 420 HC. Now they have, Buck makes blades in uh, different types of steel. For example, you can find the S35 VN type of steel, but this particular buck below the K-Bar is a 420HC as opposed to the 1095 Crow Van. And you can see, you can see there's a difference in reflection, uh, light reflection of the blade. Whether you, if you're talking about glare, if you're talking about glare or whatever, you can see that you're getting less reflection on the K-Bar. In terms of construction, the guard, hilt, and handle on the Buck 119 Special is very solid, sturdy, secure, solid as nails. But what we're talking about here, again, if you look at the K-Bar, this grooved handle, you're gonna get a much better grip. So if, if you're gonna talk about loose, not loose, the handle itself is very tough and secure. But what we're talking about is, we believe that in certain applications, it's much easier to lose one's grip on a more slippery handle as opposed to something like this where you're going to have a very firm, firm grip.